there. In this uh, short video, we're going to take a look at some uh, methods of updating drawings. So if you've got some drawing with content in, in one and you want to transfer it to another, what's some of the best practices of doing that? I also want to clear up some ambiguities that sometimes uh, people have with some of the Autodesk tools. My name's Greg Benson Shettle. I'm from Greytech. So let's take a look at this. So here we have a drawing, which is going to be my base drawing. Uh, in here we have uh, a number of simple bits of geometry on various layers. Um, if I just open up uh, the layer dialog box, we can see there's the boundaries. There's layer 1, layer 2, layer 3, and they're all different colours. And there's another layer there just to represent multiple other layers as well. So these are the layers that we're going to be dealing with. So this is a uh, drawing called Layer Update Example. And uh, right here, we've got a, another one, which is the drawing that we're going to update. So looking at this drawing, the only thing we have is that bounding box. And as far as the layers go, we've only got the boundary layer. That's all we have. OK, going back to this drawing now, one of the really useful tools uh, that AutoCAD offers is something called the Design Center. And the Design Center is a tool that allows you to take the content out of one drawing and put it into another. So I'm just going to get the Design Center up. I'm simply going to type in here DC for Design Center. And here it is. Now with the Design Center, you've got a series of tabs at the top. One is folders. And from the folders directory, you can browse to anywhere that you've got access to. You can open up drawings, go to specific file directories, and actually then expand these and look at the various base elements that make up an AutoCAD drawing. And that does include layers. Now, if you have drawings open, there's a file tab here for open drawings. So we click on here. And here we can see the name of the two drawings uh, that we've got open. So looking at the layers update, there, we can expand this by clicking on the little plus. And here, click on layers, and we get a list of those layers. If we do a similar thing on the drawing that's going to be updated, and we have a look at these layers, as we saw before, we've got layer 0 and the boundary layer. So. How can we add uh, contents from one drawing to another using Design Center? So we'll make the drawing that we want to update live, just clicking on the tab up here. There is a misconception that when you bring the layers across from one drawing to another, that you're also bringing the content of those layers as well. And that's simply not the case. Let me demonstrate. So looking in here, there's the layers. So I want to bring across all of the content from those layers. So I select them all, click and hold your mouse down, drag them across. Looking at the cursor, you should see a little rectangle symbol. This means you've actually got hold of some kind of content. And when you let go, it adds it. And if we look at the layer drop down list, they have in fact added the layers, but that is all they have added. They haven't actually added the content. From those layers okay so let's go back and revisit this let's do an undo so I'm just back to the original layers we'll go back into here so design center for this purpose of moving content from one drawing to another the ad, the ad center the design center is not going to work so we'll close this All right so how do we get all of the content from one drawing to another? Now, assuming that you've got everything on a by layer basis, um, we should be able to pick things by layer. Now, there's various tools open. So if I click on this item here, right click the mouse, we have got select similar. Now that looks as though it's selected all the same things, but in fact it hasn't, because if we zoom in, you'll notice that the border has not been selected. 
So just selecting objects and using this, the really powerful Select Similar tool isn't always ideal. So we need a, an alternative method. So this is where the Quick Select tool comes in. Now if we do a right click on the mouse, we can get to Quick Select. There is a place on the ribbon that you can get it, get it from as well, but we'll ignore that one for now. So Quick Select. In here, I want to be able to pick multiple elements by layer. We have an operator here, it's a Boolean style operator, so you've got equals, not equals, or select all. I definitely want equals. So because we've selected layer and we've said equals, we now have a list of all the layers in this particular drawing. So I'm going to say, right, select everything on layer number one. And we can do OK. So now, in fact, it has selected all of those elements, and you can see the boundary for this hatch has been selected as well. So we have these two items selected, and we could do a basic copy and paste and paste them into the other drawing. Now, what we might want to do is actually select all of the content from several layers. So the other place that we can get to the Quick Select tool um, is up on the Utilities panel. Okay, there's our quick calculator, uh, there's our select all option, and there's the one we want, quick select. So we're back into quick select. If I move this aside, you can see that the other items are still selected. So now I'm going to say layer, and choose layer number two. And watch out for this tick box, because I want to say append to the current selection. In other words, add to the current selection. So we do OK. So now we've got some additional information selected. We'll do this one more time. Layer number three. There it is. OK. So now I've got everything selected that I want to be able to copy. You may notice that some extra lines have been selected as well that I wouldn't have expected to be. We'll have a look at that a bit later. So now with all of this stuff selected, and a right click of the mouse, we can get access to the clipboard. So with the clipboard, we have various options to uh, copy things to the clipboard, and we're going to use Copy with Base Point. So I select that option. I'm going to come down and pick my bottom left-hand corner of the site. Now all of that is selected and copied. Let's go over to the drawing that we need. And a right click in here, we can get to clipboard again. And here's that really useful tool we're going to use, Paste to Original Coordinates. And in they go. So use the uh, Quick Select tool, select things by layer. Now, of course, this only works on the assumption that everything in the drawing is on the correct layer. And as you can see here, we've got some items that I really was not expecting to get selected. And why was that? If we're looking back at the original drawing. Well, they appear to be the same. However, when you select one of them and we take a look in the properties palette, we can see that this says white. Somebody has given this a system override such that it's not actually representing the layer that, on which it is on. So very often it's a good idea at the beginning of a project that you make a big broad selection and if you notice this or any of these others do not say by layer, that means you've got geometry on your drawing, lines, arcs, circles, text, that may not be on any specific layer and people are, and somebody has just given it a colour override. And this completely throws control of your drawing out of the door. So it's always a good idea that this should be saying by layer as a general rule, there's always the exception to the rule, of course, somewhere, but as a general rule, it's a good idea to have total control over your drawings so that you can see exactly which items are where. So now I can select this, I can correct this problem, say select similar, and put it on the multiple other layers where it belongs. And now, if I did this copy again, I would only get these hatched areas that I'm interested in.
Well, I hope that helps. If there's anything else we can do, please give me a shout. My name, again, is Greg um, from Greytech. Bye for now.